Welcome to another episode of Flashback Tracks from the Past. Hello there, music lovers. Tonight we got something special for you. Yes, swing, sweet, and Dixieland. Signed the true greats like Walters, Cyborg Jeff, Jackim, and Joss. In this hour's jazz session, the tracked music artist takes on your grandpa's music. and ballistic smoke rings. So, today we are remembering jazz, but through the lens of tracked music artists. Ah, that is something really cool. It will not sound exactly like jazz, blues, sweet and swing did back in the day, but hey, it's a good interpretation if you ask me. I will talk a little bit about Smoke Rings, a favorite radio program, and yeah, some retro notices as well. Thank you. 
puts a smile on my face. Uh, it's Walters Alice in Dixieland. And the first song you heard in this episode was called Smoke Rings, as you probably remember. And uh, that's a reference to a guy known as Leif Andersson. He's no longer with us, but for many years he ran a radio program called Smoke Rings that uh, was legendary. I haven't heard it until 2017 and I fell in love with the music and he had a very growly voice because he had some kind of damage to his larynx and that's what I'm trying to imitate in the beginning of the program. I don't think I did a good job but it's fun (laughs) to sound like him. So yeah, I wonder how he would have found this, you know, module tracked music version of jazz. Vocal of the Rebels, Sweet Lorraine. And I must say, it sounds perfect. It has a very, very jazz style to it. So, about Smoke Rings, the program, and the radio DJ, so to speak. He was kind of in love with the earlier jazz music, like Sweet and Swing and probably Dixieland. Uh, He did not like the modern jazz of the 50s and onwards. We're going to play some of that, but he called it migraine music. And he was heavily controversial because uh, when he wrote in magazines about jazz, he really lambasted it as, yeah, as I said, migraine music. And that ticked some people off.
Kuma Pan and Lynx Tales. When we were kids, we were sitting in our rooms playing C64 games, Amiga games, Atari games, and sometimes Nintendo games. Yeah, my brother had a Nintendo Entertainment System, the classic one, and I had an Amiga, and before that it was a C64. Great, really. But back in the 50s, computers like that didn't exist. There, there were no one who had them. So instead, my mother and her brother were sitting in their room and playing vinyl records, jazz music. It was kind of the same thing. They were tuning into radio stations in Luxembourg. Yeah, Radio Luxembourg did exist back then. But it's pretty much the same thing. And it bred a culture of its own. <laughs> Downtown Groove. I hope you have the same kind of sitting in your sofa with a whiskey feeling that I do. Well, I don't have a whiskey, obviously. I shouldn't broadcast when I'm drunk. However, radio was a thing even in the 80s when it came to computing. I had a little program called Basic Code, and I know I talked about this earlier on this show. Uh, what you could do was tune in medium wave broadcasts from Europe and download, yes, download uh, computer games and programs this way. And Basic Code translated it because what was broadcasting on those airwaves didn't work for a specific computer. They could run pretty much any 8 bit computer that had Basic installed. And the C64 basic code program took whatever you got from the air, decoded it, and converted it so that it would work with, with what was specific for the C64. Really fantastic thing. That is as close as we got to Esperanto in computing, I guess. <laughs>
Rim of Lemon Ride and Jazz with a 4 instead of an A and of course a question mark. Is it Jazz? Yeah, it sounds like that if you ask me. Well, here in Sweden we also broadcast radio programs that were about and included software. Uh, in a news article in Tech World from 2014, they actually talk about uh, that uh, program one here in Sweden, which is uh, Swedish Broadcasting, it's the official public radio. They had something called the Computer's World, and at night they actually broadcast uh, data signals that the listeners could record with tape recorders. And also community broadcasting, or NAD Radio as we call it, had this a guy called Perry Eriksson in Motormännen's community broadcast studio was doing this already in 1983. Now that is such a cool story. Walters Dixieland Dixieland Back to smoke rings The man that is Leif Andersson had a very very weird dialect He spoke uh, Skånska Like in uh, southern Sweden And mixed with an American dialect Because he spoke in both Swedish and <laughs> English And he talked about the United States The home of jazz He spoke about the 30s, the 20s, the 40s and the 50s But he had never been there In 1989 For the first time he went to New York and he had a friend along they were recording the whole thing I listened to the show and he was disappointed because if you come to New York in 1989 okay and you were waiting for those 30s jazz clubs to still be there well they weren't and that part of the history is uh, is gone far gone and this is kind of what we feel sometimes when we look into our retro computing thing where has the time gone <laughs>
Camille in my heart. Now I don't know much about techno, euro techno, trance, and acid, and all those kind of music styles that were popular in the 90s. But if you listen to mods, that is, modules, Amiga modules, or other tracker tunes, they're often one of those genres because, yeah, they were popular as well. And often I can't play this here. Sometimes they take a lot of the songs, so much that you could get a copyright strike for it. And sometimes they just, uh, they are too heavy, too much beat, too high, and many BPMs and, and, and things like that. So, I don't know, I, I try to kind of find a softer music uh, and, and build the station on that instead. For the next tune, I'm going to dedicate it to my father, Jonas. It's called Beer Belly 2 Remix, and it's by Bert. My father is pretty fit today, but back in the day he had uh, quite a beer belly and called himself that on the internet and uh, earlier on. It was when we were sitting with our modems and stuff. He had that as a name for pretty much everything. I think that was fun.
Yes, I said that was the Beer Belly 2 remix. So next up is Sibelius and Swinging the Swing. And you know, swing music and sweet and all this. That's an old jazz before the 50s. Yeah, I spoke about what smoke rings for about the newer versions. But that was all about a big band. It was all about very, very talented musicians with a lot of weird rules that still build music that sounded like they had no plan really. And that's amazing to listen to today. Sometimes I wonder if Amiga artists are more inspired by jazz artists than they truly understand.
called Sweet. And if you didn't know, Sweet is also a jazz uh, style, so to speak. <laughs> this sounds kind of like that, but they have, uh, that is, Fifth Note has taken uh, some creative liberties with the whole genre. And that's all for the bearer, if you ask me. Jeff, Jam 2, Funky Dream. Well, I must say the idea for this show, this today's episode, which airs on a Wednesday for weird reasons, uh, it was when I found out that Amiga Model Archive has a list of jazz music, that is, tracker tunes that are jazz of different kinds. I thought I have to do this show. Also, there's another thing coming up. I will talk about it in the or end of the show. But anyway, that's why you get an extra flashback. Tracks from the past. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Jackim and Galateo. Actually, I want to talk about something. To this day, we are very close to nine months since the station started. And on September, I think it's the 13th or something like that. I should check that up, really. Well, it will be one year since we started. All I want to say right here, right now, is thank you for giving me the inspiration to keep this station going. And thank you for making sure that I could restart the station. You know... We did it. We can do it again, and we will do it again. We've got a heck of a job to do, but you can bet it will see you through. We did it before, and we can do it again, and we will do it again. We're one for all, and we're all for one again. Joss and the song, well, I'm gonna read it out like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, black Mississippi. The last, that's the name. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, as I said, this is a middle of the week edition of Flashback Tracks from the Past. And that's because I felt like it. So you get another one on a Saturday. Exactly what's that gonna be about? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But you can go to our Discord channel. Discord.io slash T-E-R-N and actually uh, sound off. What do you want to hear? Junkie of Latex and Monkey Island version 1. I, I'm i not sure exactly why, where this song comes from. It's not the intro pretty obviously, but it may have been some of the songs that were playing in the game. I absolutely love the very thematic music that they had in all four of the games actually. Really nice.
Spaniard and okay here is DJ Demon asking you to support this station. No, we are not asking for money, don't worry. But we're asking you to spread the word. Or maybe the disc, or whatever you want to. Tell people we exist. And also participate on the Discord channel. Sound off if you have something to say. Speak up. We really, really want to know exactly uh, everything that goes on here. So you help us in that way. <laughs> Magnar Harestad, or maybe it's Harestad, humble down the road. We're exiting this show with Nuke of Anarchy and Acid Jazz. This is DJ Demon, your host throughout this uh, smoke session, or jazz session, or maybe track music session. Have it your way. Mm-hmm. 